Today we're going to have a look at some more examples where we can use the inclination angle formula. Example 1. Determine the size of angle alpha. If we have a look at our sketch, we will see that angle alpha is not an inclination angle because it's not measured from the horizontal x-axis. We only have a formula that can calculate the angle of inclination and that means we need an x-axis or a horizontal line. So I've now added a horizontal line and now I can use my inclination angle formula to calculate two different angle sizes. So if I focus on my first straight line, y is equal to x plus 2, I can calculate its inclination angle, so let's call that theta. And I can also calculate the inclination angle of the second given straight line, and let's call this angle beta. And now you need to realize that if I have these two angles, alpha will be the difference between the two. So alpha will be beta minus theta. For my first calculation, I'm now going to determine the angle theta. So we know that tan of theta is equal to the gradient. And here our gradient is given as 1. And if I now calculate theta by saying shift tan of 1, I will get 45 degrees. Next, I'm going to calculate the size of angle beta. So I'm going to adapt my formula to say tan of beta, the inclination angle, will then be equal to that line's gradient. And here the gradient was given as minus 2, so it's tan beta will be equal to minus 2. Because we have a negative gradient here, you need to remember that the angle beta will be 180 degrees minus the reference angle. So in this case, beta is 116,57 degrees. And then to finally calculate alpha, I need to write down that alpha will be beta minus theta. And that means it is 116,57 minus 45 degrees. So alpha is 71,57 degrees. Example 2. Determine the size of alpha. And once again here we need to realize that alpha is not an inclination angle because it's not measured from the x-axis or the horizontal line. Therefore, we need to add our own horizontal line. So here we can now calculate the angle of inclination from that horizontal line to our given straight line, calling that theta. And then we need to realize that the rest of this angle is simply 90 degrees that I can add. So I'm going to start my calculation by determining the angle of inclination and the gradient here was given as 3 over 2. And shift tan of 3 over 2 will then give me an inclination angle of 56,31 degrees. So to determine the full angle alpha, it will be 90 degrees plus the 56,31. So alpha is 146,31 degrees.